Baby girl. Hi. What's happening? Kind of kissed like last time? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All right. We doing this raw honey thing. Yeah. I'm uh, ready for this one. Okay. So. This is on connection. We're not really strangers. Level two. Matter of mm. fact, you flip it. Ah, okay, okay. Flip that thing for me. Here we go. <laughs> All right. What advice would you give your younger self about love and relationships? <laughs> this is... You Yikes. all day. But also me too, cousin girl. Uh, you wanna go first? Or? Oh man, you yeah. Go? You know, um, dang, I feel like I was talking about this recently. Yeah, you were. We with were. You. <laughs> right? We definitely were. Um, because we'd be talking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think if I was to talk to my younger self right now, I'd be like, "Hey, young buck, young stallion, J Money." Oh my God! Uh, original chocolate. Uh, that's what I call myself. I still call myself that. You know it, but <laughs> the people don't. Um, I'd probably say like, "Hey, you need to focus uh, mm -hmm. and understand that there are consequences to your actions, and that." You know, while you might not see or witness or understand maybe perhaps the the pain or, uh, you know, sadness that you might be creating. Is this it, like towards yourself or is this like towards women, girls? No, I think, did? yeah, I you know, I think, girls, I, I was know. Like, hey, Gina, I was like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> I should clarify, right? You yeah. know, uh, you know, when I was young, you know, I was... I was out there in the streets, um, <laughs> dancing, <laughs> ah, and um, you know, I, I it's it's funny. Like I, I didn't realize that you know, if I was dating multiple women, and one, I was not giving my full self to somebody. So no matter what, they felt like a void or mm -hmm. or like something, some sort of wall was up, and a wall was up because- intuition. Right? right? Yeah. Well, Y'all's intuition is something. <laughs> um, and so, you know, not knowing that, not realizing that mm -hmm. was because, I mean, there was a point where I wanted to be in a relationship, but to protect myself, because, you know, even though I give off these thug vibes, I'm sorry, was that funny? Even though, I give, rock. <laughs> even though I give off, oh, look, I got the pink hoodie on. Even though I got these, I give off these thug vibes. I felt that I would always try to protect myself mm -hmm. by dating multiple women. So if I really like somebody, and she happened to break my heart, I'd be okay because You're like on to the next, you know, on to the next. Mm. But what I realized was that when I pour my full self, you got to take that risk, mm. right? Um, I, you know, took that risk with you, like. I, am, I, I have been vulnerable, right? Know, you know yeah. way too much about me. <laughs> and I think there's excitement in that. It's scary mm -hmm. at the same time. But I would tell my younger self that, like, you know, just be vulnerable. Understand the, the actions that, that you make have repercussions that you might not witness mm -hmm. or recognize. And that when you are vulnerable, and the other person is vulnerable with you too, you can have magic. Hey, come on, magic. All right. What would you, what would you say to your younger self? Ah. Um, I would tell my younger self to remember that people change every five years. Mm. And I can't remember where I read that. <laughs> like, <laughs> what did I, like, I got four more like, years. What year was it? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like everyone changes every five years. So like, I mean, while you have your boyfriend's in high school like mm. they, they're gonna become men and yeah. be completely different i can't recall like some anyone specific or just any particular relationship but i do know that i'm in a different place than i was in high school and i know like the guys that i've dated are in a different place mm -hmm. um was i willing to go through that journey of them becoming a man probably not mm. so like some advice to my younger self is like hey who this person is isn't who well it should not be who they are Hopefully, right. five, ten years later. But um, just know, like, with love that grows and, like, what love is, is, like, being able to, one, be vulnerable, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, and, two, like, 
making sure that that's what you're falling back on when you're looking at this person in an argument mm. um, and to not be defensive and mm -hmm. to know like hey this person's not I mean it depends on the, the partner because like sometimes it's not constructive criticism yeah. it's just like I don't know what it is but yeah just know like if they're speaking to you in love that means they really care about you how to identify that is really tough i feel like that just comes from experience oh without a doubt um without a doubt yeah just experience and just like figuring out your love languages mm. that's the one thing you like if it. i told myself like yo look at this or take this mm -hmm. test because there's a test out there and yeah. figure out what your love language is and i think if i was able to communicate that mm -hmm. on a younger I'm sorry, in a younger relationship, maybe things would have turned yeah. out differently, but I feel like we're all kind of just learning. Learning. Yeah. So, like, I mean, even us, like, we know each other's love language, but different situations will pop up to where, like, this is a test to, like, yeah. put it to work. Um, so, yeah, that would be the advice is just that everyone changes every five years mm. to, like, really understand your love language because I feel like that's where that miscommunication comes from because if you're like an affectionate person I don't know that yeah. that could potentially cause a breakup mm -hmm. like you know because you're like you're not giving me what I need no absolutely like, <laughs> so. and yeah I mean it's like laying out your expectations early but if you're young you might not understand yeah, exactly yeah. what you want and yeah you get that from experience and, and whatnot but once you have that I think that can eliminate so many mm -hmm. arguments, disagreements, yeah. if you just understand how someone wants and needs to be loved. Yeah, I um, think that's like true what it is. I mean, I mean, also like dating is healthy mm. to get that like healthy dating, not like yeah. crazy dating and giving yourself like in the relationship, but just like crazy. Dating. Yeah, just like <laughs> dating and having fun and enjoying mm -hmm this day and age that you're in or like the situation if it's like in college enjoy it like mm -hmm. don't always take them too seriously yeah because again everyone changes oh a thousand percent every five years every five years can we we should like turn this into a psa um about <laughs> like about the five like, about the hey, five years but first right? let me find the source and uh, back that up with we could be the factual information why can't we be the source because i don't know if you change every five Baby, years I need, <laughs> you know what my love love language is my partner having confidence. We are the oh, source. That is not a love language. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh my. You can't God. tell me how what makes me feel loved. Oh my God. Okay. Cool. You see, this is what not to do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. But we can turn into something if we need to. But right. like, Ready? I think another thing about and I just thought about this. Another thing about relationships, um, even if it's not like a partnership, mm -hmm. like if it's just friends, like just to be understanding accommodating and compromising yeah i feel like those are the three like bases i mean to create a foundation and build upon that yeah and, and and it's hard to understand if you don't understand yourself yes thanks but like that's a journey to figure out yourself i feel is. like i just found myself <laughs> like hey, some years ago listen, like I Two I feel that. Ago. I know people, you know, years younger than me that seem to have figured it out a long time ago. Like, I got cousins that they just, they knew what they wanted, they got mm -hmm. what they wanted, and they are riding that wave with their, like, with their queen, or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, like, I, I was the old head, you know, compared to them, mm -hmm. and they were talking, I was like, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we need compromise, you know. Um, but yeah, everyone everyone's on their own journey. It's just like uh, you know, the there's the running example when when uh, you know when people run a marathon, for example. Yeah. You you go into a marathon. There are you know a big one like Boston Marathon or New York, L.A. There's you had to say Boston first. Yeah, you know that's my, <laughs> so people know what's up. Okay. Um, there are thousands of people out there. And there's so much energy out there, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like being in a relationship, there's there's also like energy, yeah. but or even life is there's, there's energy. But you have to live your life. You have to run your race, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you're super fast and you're out there running, and I'm like, oh, I want to keep up with her because she's a cutie. All of a sudden, 
I can't even make it to the, to the to the to the finish line because I was running at your pace when I should have been running at my pace. Wow, that's a message. And what's right. crazy is that yeah. either way, even if you run at your pace and I run at my pace, I can still see you at the finish line. I might just get there a little bit later than you do. That. Should I drop the mic? Should, drop I, just, the should mic. I just walk away right now? <laughs> you can if you want to. <laughs> no, that was, that was cool. Like, I understood that. That was a good um, analogy for mm. sure. Yeah, that's just not rapping. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, I was going to say, like, it, I don't know. You, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that was stupid. I mean, that was just good. Like, you just took the cake. Right, like, that was the cake. I don't know what else to say, but... Whoa. Everyone's on their own timing, but like yeah. you still, at the end of the race, you get to see everyone still, like no matter what, like mm-hmm. we don't know when you finish, especially like if you're doing something at the end of yeah. that race, it's like no one's focused on like how long it mm-hmm. took you or like what you did on that journey, but it's just as long as you're here, mm-hmm. you made it. Listen, All you, right. you can finish 100th place, you can finish, you know, 2008th place. We still gonna get a medal at the end. Um, so I, I, I just I think feel, that can apply to a lot oh, of yeah. things. Oh like, yeah, listen, yeah, that's 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 really real. And um, I mean, I I know we we di- diverted away from the the PSA, yeah. uh, <laughs> but like you know, five years, five years growth. And if you're not growing in five years, are you saying like? Do they need to go to the doctor? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh, okay, I'm just wondering. There's just an adjustment. It's like you need to reevaluate yourself. Like, I mean, what's the one question that people always ask you in an interview? Where do you see yourself in five years? Mm. But, like, we never personally ask ourselves that. Like, so I think if we reevaluate ourselves and really truly think about mm-hmm. what we want in five years, um, then we can maybe navigate the change that we want to see. Yeah. Um, so I think just like speaking that into existence. Mm-hmm. No, respect. And yeah, so that's, that's what you got to, I think, so then what, another thing I would tell my younger self is also trust the process because I, I do believe yeah. that while, you know, I was out and about doing my thing. Uh, <laughs> it was a process. It was a process for me to get mm-hmm. to here to be the best boyfriend that I can be for you because of those experiences and learning from those experiences Mm -hmm. and understanding if I do this, it's not gonna work out. Or if I do this, if I do that, or like, let's have these conversations. Let's not just push things to the side because I don't feel like dealing with it. Let's like, and also, you know, Mm -hmm. making sure that we're always on the same page. Yeah, I mean, while I even think about the process and trusting the Mm -hmm. process. You gotta trust the process. During the process, you go up and down it's like a roller coaster, mm. and like you like roller coasters. I don't okay. not anymore. <laughs> like I just realized, like I'm an adult risking my life mm-hmm. for three seconds of fun. Yeah, um, that's where my head is now. Ooh. Um, that's but great. yeah, like the process, trusting it, and that's why I say like have fun dating, mm-hmm. and just know during that process you're learning something new about yourself, about someone else, and like truly honing in on what it is that you want Mm -hmm. versus what you need. Because for me, like I knew what I wanted, but Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I needed until like this past few years. And I was like, let me focus on that and let me just speak that into existence. And like now it's full circle. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Um, So... I still want to do this PSA. If you're not going to say anything because you want to look for a source, I need you to support me by like just putting your hand on my shoulder. Okay, thank you. I'm going to look right at the camera. If you... Sorry. (laughs) Hold on, I got it. Hold on, let me get it right. Come on, come on, you got it. You got me? Ready, support? can Can you put some power in me? Yeah. Okay, give me some. Okay, I felt it. All right. If you have passed five years in your life and you look at yourself in the mirror and you see the same person, something might be wrong, but it's okay. You can fix it, but only you. Dig deep inside and understand why you keep doing the same things over and over and over again, getting 
the result that you don't want. You are in control. Mm -hmm. You can be great. Run your race. Stop chasing that pretty person that's running real, real fast if you ain't got that speed on your player. You got this. And what you can do is call this number. <laughs> <laughs> call this number. What's the number? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, one eight hundred raw honey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, right. good, good. You like that? Okay. Um, my baby, thank you for your support on my shoulder. Of course. Yes. <laughs>